What is up, my friends? Welcome to Page Building 101. I am really, really, really excited for this course. Uh, before I get to my background, my name, of course, is Kevin Geary, but before I get to my background, which I know a lot of you are gonna care about, especially if you're new here, I wanna talk about the premise of Page Building 101 and why I'm creating this course and the problem that this course solves along with what you should expect when you're doing this course and what the hopeful outcome is after you're done with this course. So I've identified a big problem in our industry. This is the web design industry that I'm talking about. And it's a problem with the content that's being created. It's also a problem with the work that people are doing. And the problem is this. There are a lot of different page builders out there. There's WordPress page builders. You have things like Elementor and Divi, Oxygen, Bricks, Quickly. There's Gutenberg-based block builders. There's a lot of options just within the WordPress ecosystem. Then there are page builders outside of WordPress. You have Webflow, you have Wix and Squarespace. There's many, many, many different ones. And a lot of this does cause confusion. People are like, oh my God, what page builder should I choose? What page builder should I be using? And of course, page builders also come and go. Here's the real problem. Because there's so many page builders to choose from, and because it's so easy to get into the market of being a web designer, there are tons and tons and tons of content creators teaching specific page builders. And so you'll see Bricks 101, Elementor 101, Divi 101. You'll even see uh, you know, CSS 101, right? Because CSS does go hand in hand with building web pages. And so there's all of this content on the language of specific page builders. And then when you see the work that people are doing in these specific page builders, you quickly realize, oh, this person understands the language of the builder enough to assemble web pages, but they don't actually understand the language of web design. They don't understand the language of what page building should entail and what the end result should be. And they don't understand very, very important concepts like scalability and maintainability and performance and accessibility. They're missing so many fundamentals because they spent all of their time learning the language of a specific page builder. And a lot of times the page builder they're using is not a professional tool. It is a tool for beginners. So you may be coming to this course page building 101. You could be using Elementor. You could be using Divi. You could be using Bricks. You could be coming from Webflow. You could be coming from Squarespace or Wix. I personally don't care where you are coming from, but I want you to have an open mind because it is very likely, I'm not even going to say possible. It is very likely that the builder you are using is not a professional tool it is not suitable for professional work. And by the way, I'm talking, I'm creating this course for people who consider their sel themselves to be professionals or they aspire to be professionals. That means they consider themselves to be a freelancer or an agency owner. Of course, every day people can take this course if they want. It's 100% free. Anybody can consume this content. Anybody can learn the language of web design within the context of page builders. That is perfectly fine. I don't care who takes the course, but I'm creating the course to elevate the skills of freelancers and agency owners specifically. So again, it doesn't matter what page builder you're coming from, but you may realize very quickly that not all page builders are created equally and the page builder that you happen to be using does not suit professional work. And you should be okay with that. You should say, look, I wanna use the tool that doesn't limit me. I wanna use the tool that has professional level output to a specific standard. I wanna use the best tool for the work that I'm doing. And there are a few different tools that when it comes down to it, they're all suitable for professional work. And at that point, it's what do you prefer? And it doesn't matter to me which one you choose. I use a few different page builders. I've taught on Oxygen. You can go on this channel. I've taught on Oxygen. I've taught on Bricks. Why? And here's the key. Because I understand the language of web design, which does not limit me to a specific builder. You take somebody who's an expert at Elementor and you throw them into Webflow, I guarantee many of them, most of them, will have no idea how to use Webflow. But if you knew the fundamentals of web design, 
you would know how to use Webflow. All of the builders that have professional level tools and, and allow a professional workflow are effectively the same. That's the thing that you're gonna see. It's the ones that are built for beginners that are not the same. Those tools all do things differently because they all have a different idea of what would make sense to a beginner who knows nothing. And so they actually change the workflow from a professional workflow to a non-professional workflow. And if you spend time learning those workflows, you are wasting your time. You are not learning the language of actual web design. You are only learning the language of a very specific builder. And that is a big problem, especially if you are going to be touting yourself as a web designer and charging clients money. You only know how to assemble websites in a very specific tool. You don't actually know what you're doing when it comes to creating scalable, maintainable, accessible, performance-driven websites. And Page Building 101 is going to absolutely fix that. Page Building 101 is going to take your skills through the roof. You are going to go quickly from, all right, I'm an assembler inside of a specific tool to I'm a legit web designer. I know exactly what I'm doing. I know what the page builder is outputting. I know what a page builder should be outputting when I ask it to do something. I am a web designer, and this is going to empower you to use any tool. The tool you use blows up and goes away overnight, and you have to switch to a different tool. No problem, because when you switch to a new professional tool, you already know how everything works. You already know exactly what you need to do. This is so fundamentally empowering. I cannot explain it to you. So that's the fundamental problem in our industry. And Page Building 101 is going to fix that. There is no longer going to be a need for Elementor 101, Bricks 101, this 101, that 101, even CSS 101. When you do Page Building 101, you're now empowered to use any page builder on the market. Of course, there's going to be a select few that you actually want to use at that point. You're going to probably reject all of the others for very good reasons. Again, you're gonna see all of this unfold as you do the course. Um, but you are gonna be a true professional when you're done with Page Building 101. That's it for the intro. I, I wanna cut it short. Let's do my background real quick because you're probably, uh, you know, you're probably like, well, who's this guy though? So I'm a 20 plus year veteran in this industry. Uh, I've been using WordPress exclusively since 2005. I'm the creator of Automatic CSS. I'm the creator of Frames. Automatic CSS, by the way, is a CSS framework uh, for WordPress. And I am an agency owner who's done websites that range from $10,000 all the way up to $125,000. I do work in the actual trenches day in and day out. So this is not like, ooh, he's just a content creator. No, I'm working with real world clients day in and day out. And I'm gonna teach you. I mean, you can see right now, uh, the work that I do, it's, it's I, I say my three ingredients to great content is it's gotta be real, raw, and relevant. That's what my videos are. They're real, they're raw, they're relevant. I'm not a teleprompter guy. I'm not a script guy. I teach as if you're sitting next to me. I teach as if you grabbed me and threw me on stage in front of 500 people and gave me a computer and said, teach these people web design. That's how I would teach, okay? And um, so it's it's real, raw, relevant. It's, sometimes it's entertaining. Sometimes it's, you know, you, you may not like my personality sometimes. I don't know. I, I'm not for everybody. I know that, right? Uh, but I'm, I am for my people 100%. And so you can trust everything that I'm saying. Uh, it is what I what I believe to be true at the time that I say it. I'm not perfect. I make mistakes. You're going to see me make some mistakes, uh, and you're going to see me come back and likely fix those mistakes as well. That's just how things work. I don't polish everything up. I don't heavily edit my videos. 99% of what you see is completely unedited. You get what you get with me. What you see is what you get, okay? So that's my background. You can look into me more if you want. Go to geary.co, whatever you wanna do. Uh, I, I'm sure there's gonna be plenty of people who attack the content in this series uh, because their, their beloved page builder maybe getting is getting thrown under the bus, whatever. Uh, but I, I teach what I teach. And what I want you to, to be able to call yourself when all of this is done is a true professional. That, that's the bottom line, okay? And, uh, you know, if a page builder has to get thrown under the bus to be able to do that, 
so be it. Now, before this next video, what I want you to do is go to pagebuilding101.com and go ahead and sign up if you want to. This makes your life easier. And I'm just gonna email you anytime there is a new lesson available. And I will also email you any companion resources that go along with this course. So pagebuilding101.com to get on the list, be an official Page Building 101 course member, you know, whatever that means. It's a free course, but uh, you get the point. I would like to see, you know, who's taking the course, how many people are taking the course, and I want to be able to send you stuff on Page Building 101, right? So pagebuilding101.com, join the email list, make sure that you are an official enrollee, and I will see you very soon with the first official lesson. Peace.